Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So we have another sad trombone, slow clap kind of moment for the Republicans. <laughs> they tried, they really did. If you haven't heard the news of their latest fail, it is really spectacular. The Department of Justice just arrested and charged 43-year-old Alexander Smirnov. No relation to the vodka. I know it's Smirnov. You guys don't have to leave it in the comments. It had to be said, though. Anyway, they just charged him with two counts of making false statements and creating a false and fictitious record in relation to allegations against Joe and Hunter Biden. So these charges, by the way, are being brought by special counsel David Weiss. Weiss was appointed under, under the Trump administration. He's the one who charged Hunter Biden for tax evasion and a weapons violation. So MAGA can try to claim, oh, this is another cover up, but they're gonna be hard pressed to sell that idea to any rational thinking human being. So here's the deal. Here's how they fell flat on their face. Smirnov was a quote unquote, key witness in the Republican so-called impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden. The indictment though, says that Smirnov made false statements to the FBI implicating Joe and his son Hunter in crime. So for example, Smirnov told the FBI he spoke with executives at Burisma around 2015 or 2016, and Smirnov said the executives told him they hired Hunter Biden to be on their board so that Joe Biden could protect them from their wrongdoing and from prosecution. Smirnov also said that the executives paid Joe Biden and Hunter Biden $5 million each so that Joe Biden would make the criminal investigation into Burisma vanish. So this is something you guys may have heard. MAGA has been harping on this for years. Burisma was under investigation for criminal activity. But the prosecutor general who was investigating them was also completely corrupt. His name is Victor Shokin. So the special counsel who's looking into all of this, who just filed these charges against the Smirnov guy, says everything Smirnov told the FBI was a lie and they can prove it. Evidently, Smirnov only had contact with Burisma executives in 2017. Remind me again, who the president was in 2017? Who won in November of 2016? So Joe Biden wasn't even the vice president by that point. Trump was already the president. And by the time that Smirnov communicated with Burisma, Viktor Shokin had already been fired as the prosecutor general. He wasn't even in charge of the investigation. He was fired in February of 2016. So Smirnov had also told the FBI that he saw a, a video of Hunter Biden entering a certain hotel in Ukraine and that that hotel had been quote unquote wired by the Russians. So he implied that, oh, I've heard audio recordings of Hunter Biden committing crimes. The investigator found Hunter Biden has never even been to Ukraine. So let alone in that hotel. So the FBI met with this Smirnov guy in September of 2023. They confronted him about these lies. So he changes his story. And then he added more detail to it. He added more lies to the mix. So according to Arizona Central News Outlet, Smirnov also promoted, quote, a new false narrative after he said he met with Russian officials. And the special counsel is accusing Smirnov of repeatedly expressing a bias towards Joe Biden. In one text exchange, Smirnov said that Biden was, quote, going to jail. And the DOJ said Smirnov, quote, transformed his routine and unextraordinary business contacts with Burisma in 2017 and later into bribery allegations against Biden, the presumptive nominee of one of the two major political parties for president, 
after expressing bias against Biden and his candidacy. Now, of course, Republican lawmakers are still trying to spin this. They're saying, oh, well, Smirnov wasn't our only witness. He isn't the only person who's saying this. We have plenty of other evidence. That is so not true. They made a massive deal out of this guy's statements, out of his testimony to the FBI. They even threatened to hold the FBI director in contempt because he wasn't releasing internal reports about Smirnov. So they can claim this doesn't undermine their impeachment inquiry, but it's very clear Smirnov was their entire case. That made up the basis for their case and for their impeachment or the inquiry, at least, of Joe Biden. They have no paper trail. They have no money trail. They have no legitimate, honest witnesses. If they did, they would have shared all of that by now. They, they've said over and over again, oh, any day, any day, we're going to show you the evidence. You know what has happened with Donald Trump? All of these cases, all of these trials. Yeah, they've shown the evidence. They've indicted him. They, they've put out their witness testimony, documents, video evidence, photographic evidence. Where is all that with Joe Biden? And I'm not a huge Joe Biden fan. I wish that anyone was the candidate other than Joe Biden right now. But I'm just going to call it as I see it. And this is a complete sham of an impeachment inquiry, if this is what it was based off of. So hashtag sad. <laughs> oh, my God, it is such a clown show with the Republicans in the House. It's just pathetic. What they have devolved into, it really is. Anyway, I will let you know if I hear any more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please donate if you possibly can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.